Hey everybody, welcome to a new video. So it's that time again, brand new event here. It's called the Freezer Games. Pretty interesting event name. I mean, I wouldn't have gone with that name, but you know what? It's pretty cool. So basically it kind of is a copy of an event from earlier this year. I forget, there's so many events in the game now. There's like 10 to 12. I forgot what it is, but it's very similar to that event. It's basically the exact same thing, just, you know, recolored. I do enjoy, this is a very cool uh, event logo or event picture. It kind of adds a bit more festivity to the Day of the Dead event. Even though this one, they're already full in for Christmas and, you know, winter. So, I mean, Day of the Dead event, Freezer games, they kind of clash with each other. But, you know, that's just me nitpicking at that point. So, the event, obviously, it's going to be out right now when you obviously log into the game. Unfortunately, you will have to buy the event pass. It is 700 rubies, but we've been getting a ton of free events. So, I can't complain too much at the end of the day. It doesn't suck, yes, but at, uh, they've been giving us free stuff, so I can't complain too much. You'll obviously have to go to the event website. Once you obviously buy your pass and you log in, you'll see which team you're on, usually here in the top right. Now I'm hoping I get in a good team. Uh, they're pretty cool logos. I do enjoy this, but you obviously buy the event pass. You can buy a bunch of different bundles to get event currency if you want to, because how it works is you get event currency through you know special missions. I think you can get up to like 17 or 13 special missions. So if you buy the event pass, you're guaranteed to at least get Magnum's Vacuum Core, which is really good, and Vulcan's Large Caliber, which is also another good augment. So it's up to you if you think 700 rubies is worth getting at least to here, and then after that, you'll obviously have to spend rubies or crystals. I have a lot of crystals, so I log in here. I'm at probably like 9 million crystals, so if I really wanted to, I could buy 5 currency, 600,000 crystals. With all of my crystals, if I spent them all, I could get 75 total currency plus the 13, so there's 88 currency. So what can I get with 88 currency? So I could obviously finish the event if I want to. I'm probably going to try to get up to level 34. So if you get 13 for free and you're only spending crystals, you'll have to get 21 more event currency, meaning it's going to take about 2.5 million crystals or a bunch of rubies if you want to do that. Again, I have so many crystals to spend, I really couldn't care less. So I'll probably definitely be going for this skin container here. But yeah, that's how it works. You buy the event pass, you do your special missions. There's one new special mission every single day. You may miss one or two because one of them is getting a new rank, which, um, yeah, I'm not getting that. I think I ranked up a few days ago. Like, if I go on my account, that is way too much playing to rank up, so probably not going to do that mission. So I'm probably going to have to get like another 25 total currency to actually get what I want. But you have a bunch of different missions, just typical ones. Destroy two tanks using grenades. I mean, they're very typical missions. And then, of course, buy Chris or you can buy the ice coins. I'll be doing that. Probably going to get this bundle as well because six coins, 15 containers, one day of premium. It's not bad. Obviously, it's not good. I mean, they have these bundles for typically 1,500 rubies and you get like a full week of premium. Not the greatest. But the biggest thing here is if your team wins, the team with the highest average tokens, or I think highest tokens in general, you get freeze ice. Oh my gosh, team, please, please, please give me a good team. That's all I want. I want a good team so I can get freeze ice and then I couldn't care less about freeze pulsar. I already have that on my account. So it's kind of like, oh wow, how awesome. But then obviously there's also a new freeze critical mix augment. That's pretty cool as well. So I'll make a video on that, letting you guys know if it's good or not. But yeah, we have Freeze Critical Mix, that's the new augment, the only new thing I think in the event overall, Freeze Critical Mix. We already know how nice Firebird Critical Mix is, so this could be a really awesome augment, especially if I start using Freeze again. Again, I just don't use Freeze all that often anymore because I feel like I get so many long-range maps in the matchmaking where I just leave more than half if I'm using Freeze. But overall, not terrible event. It kind of sucks that you spend 700 tank wins to get in, but at the end of the day, Tanky has to make some money somehow, so I can understand making a few events purchase to get in but 700 rubies isn't that bad i mean it's only a few bucks but if you don't like spending money on the game it's like two to three months of saving but yeah let me know what you guys think about this event in the comments down below i really like this uh banner for the event so huge shout out to you tanky uh, if you're gonna buy it don't forget to use creator tag taskmans just settings account and choose my creator tag right here thank you guys so much for watching I'll see you guys in a future video peace out everyone